hi guys welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel my name is liz of la Danza crochet and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to make this beautiful bikini bottom as you can see the sides of the bikini bottom are a bit open with only straps crisscrossing on those sides and i hope you're going to enjoy making this particular bikini bottom these bottoms can be extended into a short so if you want it as a short you can extend the legs of the bikini bottom please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that and let's get started to work the bikini bottom you're going to need the following materials you're going to need yarn i'm going to be using a medium weight yarn this particular yarn is called winter king it's a kenyan brand then i'll be using a 3.0 millimeter that is a three millimeter hook then you'll need a pair of scissors a measuring tape and a stitch marker the bikini bottom is worked in two separate panels as you can see i've already worked one of the panels and the two panels should be completely identical so i'm going to make another panel that looks exactly as this one to be able to work this panel you need the waist measurements i'm working with a waist measurement of 30 and therefore i'll take 30 divided by 2 to get 15 then 15 minus 4 i'll get 11. so each of the panel at the beginning of the foundation chain should be equals to 11 inches so i'll start with a slip stitch and make a chain of 37 so a chain of 37 for me gives me 11 inches so do a chain that works for you depending on the hook that you're using so i'm going to chain 37 i've worked my 37 chains and whatever number of chains you're making make sure that the chain is an odd number or the number that you're making is an odd, odd number because we need to divide that odd number by two and get the middle part of that chain so i'm just i just want to confirm my measurement so without stretching the chain goes up to nine inches but then let's try and give it a bit of a bit of a stretch and when it's slightly stretched it will go up to 11 which is the measurement that i require so now we begin row row one and to do that hold the second the second last chain and chain two more that will act as our first double crochet then yarn over and go into that chain that you're holding and put another double crochet through and that marks the second double crochet into the next chain we're going to put one double crochet and we're going to put a double crochet to the end of this row so by the end of row one you should have a total of 37 double crochets work your 37 double crochets and I'll meet you towards the end. So one double crochet into every chain. I'm coming to the end of row one and I just have two more stitches to work. And there I have worked a double crochet into every chain. And so to begin row two, chain three, the chain three will act as the first double crochet of that row and that means we're going to skip this stitch we're not going to work into it then we'll work into the second one one double crochet and we're going to work a double crochet to the end of row two so just one double crochet into every stitch for a total of 37 or for a total of whatever number of chains you began with. To begin row three, chain three, 
and then turn. So remember you're not working the first stitch. We're going to work in the second stitch and we're going to work one double crochet to the end of row three. So just one double crochet in every stitch. Begin row four by chaining three and then turning. And for row four, we're going to work differently. In the middle stitch of row four, we're going to put three double crochets, as you can see right here. The first three rows are only one double crochet into every stitch. But then in the fourth row, we're going to introduce this shell stitch in the middle stitch. Now, because I have 37 double crochets, it means that my middle stitch is the 19th stitch. I'm going to work 18 double crochets, then in the 19th stitch, I'll work 3 double crochets. So, this is my first double crochet. I'll work 17 more for a total of 18. So, 2, 3, 4. I have my 18 double crochets so in the 19th stitch we put three double crochets in the same stitch then at this point you're going to need the stitch marker get the stitch marker and mark the middle stitch of the three chains the three double crochets that you've made so that middle stitch mark it with the stitch marker then continue to the end, working just one double crochet into every stitch. That means you're going to have 18 double crochets on one side and 18 double crochets on the other side, then three double crochets in the middle stitch. So just work the remaining double crochets and then I'll meet you to begin row five. I'm at the end of row 4, so we're going to chain 3 and turn to begin row 5. Then we're going to work 1 double crochet into every stitch until we get to the stitch that is marked with a stitch marker. And then when we get to that stitch, we're going to put 3 double crochets into the marked stitch. I've gotten to the stitch marker, so I'm going to pull out the marker and put three double crochets into that stitch. So, one, two, and three. Then I'll put my marker back into the second stitch of that shell. So that middle stitch gets the stitch marker. And then continue to the end working just one double crochet into every stitch and these are very easy pattern that we're going to be working all you need to do is ensure that at the point where the stitch marker is you're putting three double crochets 
and all the other stitches are getting just one double crochet so it's like we are making an increase at the middle part because in every row we are increasing by working three double crochets into the middle stitch of the row so keep working like this until you have your desired length of the bikini bottom so in this case you want to work the rows until you have the fly that you, you need to check the measurement of your fly and so you will work the the rows until you have the length of the bikini bottom or the length of the fly that is appropriate for you so like in my case right here i'll just show you very fast the fly that i'm talking about so this part is the part that we call the fly part and as you can see mine is about nine inches when not stretched if i give it a bit of a stretch it can go up to 11 inches so determine the measurement of your fly that is the measurement from your belly bottom up to the pattern of your legs that is the fly measurement and then work your bikini bottom or work your panel till you have that length and i'll meet you once you have the length so that you continue so begin row six by chaining three and turn and then work a double crochet into every stitch till you get to the stitch marker get to the stitch marker put three double crochets into that stitch then make sure that you continue marking the middle stitch and continue putting three double crochets into the middle stitch of every row I'm done with my two panels and I worked a total of 17 rows each and you do not want to cut off the yarn from the last panel that you worked because you're going to use it to join the two panels together so get that last panel that you've just worked and we're going to chain three then turn then we're going to work a double crochet till we get to the middle stitch and then at the middle stitch we're going to join this panel to the other panel so a double crochet into every stitch I'm at the middle stitch and I'm just going to pull off the stitch marker and I don't need it anymore so into that middle stitch just put one double crochet not three as we've been doing then you're going to chain 10 
So chain 10 if you're a size small to medium. If you're the size large, you might need to chain more like 15. If you're a size extra large, then you might need to chain up to 20. So now get the middle point of the other panel after chaining 10. Get the middle point and uh, attach the two panels together with a double crochet. So yarn over, go into the middle stitch from this other side. So into that middle stitch, I'll put my hook through and work the double crochet. So there our two panels are joined together at the middle section and then we're going to work a double crochet to the end of this other panel on the other side. So just one double crochet and then when you get to the end of that row you're going to chain three and turn then just work one double crochet into every stitch backwards and I'm going to meet you when you get back to this point. I just worked double crochets back to where we have the chain stitch and uh, we are working this pa part first and then we'll move to the other part. So this part of the leg, we're going to finish this part. Once we're done, we're going to attach yarn on the other side and work that other side on its own. I'm at the point where the chains are. And into each of those chains, we're going to put a double crochet. So just one double crochet into each of the chains. And you should have a total of 10 or 15 or 20. Whatever number of chains you chained in the middle section, that's what you should have. I've put a double crochet into all of the chains and I'm going to move to the other side to the other panel and put a double crochet into each stitch then that will be our row 19 I'm going to end at row 20 so when I, I get to this end I'm going to chain three and turn and I'll work one double crochet on these panels I'll get to this point chain three then work back all the way to this end and when i get to this end i'll be done with that side of the leg then i'll cut off the yarn and attach on the other side so go on finish this side so you're just going to work this row then one more row and you'll be done with that side of the bikini bottom I'm done with my 20th row and done with this side of the bikini bottom. So what's remaining to do is just chain one and cut off the yarn. So get the pair of scissors and cut that yarn off, pull through and fasten. So that side is done and we're going to attach the yarn on the other side. At this point so make a slip knot get that beginning point and attach the yarn with a slip knot 
chain 3 which will be the first double crochet of that row then we're going to work a double crochet into each of these stitches till we get to the middle stitch then in that middle stitch we'll put a double crochet so work to this point and i'll meet you there just work one double crochet into each stitch this is the 18th row of the other side of the leg of the bikini bottom so remember for row 18 when you go to the middle we change 10 and so when you get to that part i'll show you what to do so that we ensure that both sides are completely identical and one of them does not become longer than the other so get to that point and i'll meet you there i'm at the middle stitch where i've already put the double crochet so we have two double crochets into that middle stitch what we're going to do is wherever we worked the chain stitches we're going to work a single crochet so at this point work a single crochet and you should work a total of 10 single crochets I've worked the 10 single crochets so I'm going to put a double crochet onto the other middle stitch so a double crochet right there where we have the other double crochet then just put a double crochet to the end of that row and then you're going to work two more rows so we're in row 18 at the end you're going to work three double uh, three chains and then work back with double crochets when you get to the point where we put the single crochets you're going to put a double crochet into each of the single crochets and then you'll work a double crochet to the end when you get to this other end you'll chain three and work back with a double crochet in each stitch and you'll be done with the 20th row this is the 18th, so be sure to work the 19th and the 20th. I'm done with the other side of the leg, and as you can see, our bikini bottom is almost done. The only part that's remaining is to attach the straps that are going to join the bottoms onto the sides of yeah onto the sides of the hips if you want this to turn this into a short you can do that by working an extension on the legs so instead of working a total of 20 rows you could go for 25 or even 30 so this is a pattern that you can turn into a short if you do not want the bikini bottom so i haven't cut my yarn yet so what i'm going to do is at this point where I've ended I'm going to work a edging on the sides so on these sides that are going to get the straps we're going to work a edging and I'm going to be putting two single crochets into each of the double crochet rows so I'll start by chaining one go into this double crochet row and put two single crochets then I'll put two single crochets into the next row. Then into the next two single crochets. 
And these points where we are putting the single crochets are going to create the gaps that we're going to use to strap on or to put the straps on to the bikini bottom. So just put the edging on the sides. So we're going to put an edging on this side, this side, onto this other side, and the other two sides. And the edging is just two single crochets onto each of the double crochet row. to the last double crochet row I'll put one single crochet in between then a single crochet at the end chain one cut off the yarn pull the yarn through and fasten so that edging is done and we're just going to turn to the other side of the bottoms so we just turn to this side and attach the yarn Just attach the yarn at the beginning. Chain one. Then we're going to work two single crochets into that double crochet row. And two single crochets into the other rows all the way down. And then you're going to do the same on the other side, on this side here and on this part. So do that. I'll meet you once you're done with the edging. I'm done with the edging on the four sides as you can see and what's remaining is to weave in the ends then attach the straps that are going to join these two ends and these two ends on the other side. So we're going to make two chains or two chain straps of 250 chains each and you're going to do that using two strands of the yarn so i'm getting two strands instead of one then i'll make a slip knot and then chain 250 and i'm going to chain 250 two times so, so you want to have two straps one for one side and one for the other side so get the two straps and i'll meet you to show you how to strap on those straps i have my straps ready and i've already put one strap on one side this is how it's looking like So that is one side of the hip and then we're going to attach this strap to this other side. So you just want to have your end side to side or side by side. Then you're going to get your strap and put it through the first stitches or the first loop. These are the loops, the ones that have been created after we've put the edge in. So you want to put the straps through those very fast loops at the bottom of the bikini. We're going to attach them moving upwards to the waist. 
then you want to ensure that these ends are equal on both sides so we have the first point attached then we're going to crisscross skip two loops so we're going to skip this and this then strap onto the third one and do the same on the other side so skip two one and two then strap on to the next again we're going to crisscross the straps skip two loops so we're skipping this and this and putting the strap through the third loop and the same to the other side again crisscross the straps skip two loops into the third pull the strap through We'll do the same on the other side. So we're just going to do this till we get to the top of the bikini bottom or to the waist. We want to have the last strap going through this loop on the top. At this point we have four loops remaining so instead of skipping two we'll skip one at this point so skip one loop then into the next one pull the strap through then skip the loop on the other side and pull the strap through then finally crisscross and put the strap through the top loop or the last loop on that side then onto the other side and there our straps are attached onto the both sides of the bikini bottom and we are done all you need to do is make sure that you weaved in your ends so this is the part that goes to the hip on one side on one hip and then on the other side and yeah there we're done so you can make knots at these ends when you after you've worn your bikini bottom so thank you so much for watching if you've liked the video you know what to do give it a thumbs up comment subscribe if you haven't subscribed and share with your friends see you in the next video Bye.